ready and I want to share with you guys everything you'll need to make this simple recipe. I'm using Cajun sausage, I'm using mild Italian sausage, ground beef, onions, bell pepper, I love angel hair pasta, you use what you want, and also I use Prego Italian sausage and garlic, and I love that, but you choose whatever sauce you want to make it yours. Okay, so now I'm going to start off by pouring in a little bit of cooking oil to the bottom of my pot just to give it a quick coat. Next we're going to let that heat up for a little while and then we're going to add our bell pepper and our onion to the pan to saute them before we add our meat. Creole seasoning, parsley, and basil. But of course, you use what you like. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add my meat to my pot. I want to break it up a bit. You know, you break up your meat before you add your seasonings and all of that good stuff. Now it's time to add my seasoning. As you guys can see, I'm seasoning the meat. I'm seasoning to my taste and what I think is um, a good amount for my family. Uh, so you go ahead and do the same for your family. Once you add your seasoning, mix your meat and get all of those seasonings married together. In a separate pan or skillet, I'm going to add a little bit more oil to the bottom um, because I'm getting ready to um, cook my Italian sausage. Now, I normally use the already uh, ground up Italian sausage, but I didn't have any of that. I'm using what I've already had in the cabinet or in the refrigerator. Um, so what I'm doing here is peeling the skin off of the sausage because we do not need that and we just really want the meat that's inside. Next I'm just going to add the sausage to the pan and break it up the same way I did the ground beef. Once your meat is done, you want to pour that extra grease off. We want to drain all of that off in a, in a drainer. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and pour the meat back into the same pot because that's the pot we're going to use to add everything in at the end. Our sausage is finally coming together, so we're going to go ahead and add our sausage. Like I said, I'm using Italian sausage and um, the sausage I just put in is the Cajun sausage. It's a little spicy, but you can use whichever sausage you like. You can even do turkey, whatever. Now we're just going to cook it all up and get ready to pour it into the pot where our ground beef is. You really don't want to add any of that extra oil that came off of your sausage. So if you want to drain it, you can do that. Then we're just going to mix it all together to get everything mixed um, well inside of our pot. Finally, we're at the step where we're going to add our sauce. Like I said, I like Prego. I have used Ragu, um, but you can make your own. This is a quick and simple, easy meal for like during the week, you guys. But just make sure you get all the excess um, sauce out of your jar. I want to ask you guys something. Do you guys put water on the inside of your jar to clean it out or to get all of that good um, sauce from around the rim and inside? I do. I like to get all of that sauce out of there and um, just into my pot. Okay, so I love angel hair pasta. I love the thin noodle. You guys can use the regular noodles, but I love angel hair and I also love Barilla. Um, I already got my water 
boiling, it's hot, and I like to break my noodles in half, you guys. That's also an option. You can leave them long, but I prefer to break them in half and let them boil all the way down until they're semi-soft because once you put your noodles in the pot with your sauce and all of that good stuff, it's going to cook some more. So you don't want them too soggy or too soft. So just cook them down until they're barely starting to get soft. Now I'm just going to check on my sauce, make sure I look at it. Give it a good stir, make sure it's not sticking at the bottom. Oh my God, look at that, you guys. Look how chunky and just meaty this looks. I like a lot of meat in my sauce, but the preference. Next, I'm getting my Texas toast because what is spaghetti without Texas toast? You wanna preheat your oven to 425 if you're making Texas toast. Um, next, I'm gonna just put it in the oven and let that cook. While I finish my spaghetti. Oh, it's already done, you guys. Look how fast that was. So we're gonna just go ahead, take that out. Now it is time to add our noodles to our pot. And guess what? We are almost at the finish line. Um, some people prefer to add their noodles, and some people prefer to just put noodles on the plate and then add sauce um, on top. However, it's best for you. Do that. So I'm just going to mix the noodles in because that's how I like to mix it or add it or make my spaghetti is by mixing all the noodles with the sauce together. And it looks amazing you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, I had fun making it and sharing with you a quick recipe. This is great for leftovers during the week. Dinner is served. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.